put the unit up, it's basically to reverse the steps. You're going to want to pull all the hinge pins out. And if they're difficult, give them a little twist and they should come right out. I do the main hinges first, followed by the rear locking hinges. Just let them dangle. You want to make sure that these have started off because they're, they're going to try to stay straight if you don't push them in. And from here, you just want to reverse the process. You want to push the unit up. I usually like to give it a little shake and make sure that these are guiding in. It helps the system fold up a little bit easier. And then from here, you're going to come back around. You're going to walk towards the front of the vehicle. And just, and just holding it up there and letting it come down while supporting the weight. It should never be very heavy. It should always be a light touch. If it gets heavy, it's probably because you stand, you stood here and not moved towards the front of your vehicle, where it can really get a lot of leverage on you, and it's going to be hard for you to put away. So the, the key is to just keep walking with the top and stay even with it at all times. And that's the way to put it together. Once you're done with that step, put your deployment pole back. You're going to come over to the far side of your vehicle and start pushing the unit back together. I was able to slide it over in one step that time. Take your case, put the case over the front. Once it's over the front, you can pull it towards the rear. Make sure all the straps go inside. Pull it all the way over the rear. I like to uh, tuck these straps in. Some people like to wrap them around the outside. But you can easily just get the Velcro started and then tuck everything in as you go. Tuck it in and do the Velcro in a couple of spots. It may not look pretty at first, but the goal is to just tuck it all in as you go. This is another step you may want to do for being on top of the vehicle. secured in the three places in the rear and in the middle. The front is auto-securing. Auto That's what keeps this uh, unit uh, able to withstand inter interstate speeds because no wind can get into the front. It's completely sewn up. It also helps it be a little fault tolerant. So if you forget to do all the Velcro, as long as you've got the front of the unit closed up, it's not really affected by uh, being on the road. And then here we're just going to do a little bit more cleanup. Get it completely inside. Make sure all the straps are tucked in. And there's another piece of velcro here that can close up the rear. You can travel with it on top of your vehicle at this point, or you could take it off your vehicle. Simply just take the straps off. Velcro is very easy to use. and just lift up. If you want to do some additional tucking, you can just push the rest of the material in. Close up the Velcro the rest of the way. And you want to leave these pedestals out because now they're adjusted to your roof rack. I like to uh, store the straps as well just so they're not uh, hanging around to catch on things around you. There you have it. That's how you operate your rack system. It's very important that you watch this video and understand the instructions before you use it. It's a new product. Uh, most people aren't going to know how to use this right off the bat. So thank you. Enjoy your product.